Oh look, it's all changed again. Look at that. I wanted to show you something cool today, which is this TP-Link light bulb, and you're thinking a light bulb, how is that cool? Well, it's because it's a smart Wi-Fi light bulb. And what's cool about it is you don't need a hub. The Philips Hue, you have to have a hub that controls the bulbs. With this, it's all, all built into one. As long as you have the app, you can control the bulb. It's 800 lumens, and this one is also the RGB spectrum bulb type. So these are the more expensive ones where you can have different kinds of whites and all kinds of different colors. It's a 60 watt equivalent and it's it controlled via the TP-Link CASA app and I've been running it for a month or more and I've been quite impressed with it. Here's a quick little preview of the app where you can change your colors and do all kinds of things but the thing I want to show you the most is the voice control because it has the CASA integration, which I've showed you that before with the outlets. Now this is a bulb that is also controllable via voice. Here's what the bulb looks like. It's almost the same size as a normal bulb. It's a little bit taller and a heck of a lot heavier. And uh, let me see here if I can get some stats going on it. So it does have SFCC. And nothing really important here, health and safety. I do believe it says that it's not a completely enclosed, yeah, not for use in completely enclosed luminaries. That's fairly normal for any LED bulb. I've yet to find an LED bulb where you can run it in a fully enclosed luminary. In fact, when I'm shooting here in my office, I had to change the light bulb to an LED bulb and I had to take the cover off because they get so hot that it's not safe to have them completely enclosed. All right, let me go put this into the place where I wanted to put it, where I've been running it, which is in the stairs bulb. Now, if you saw my previous TP-Link CASA video about Google Home and TP-Link CASA, I had this light hooked up to a control box with CASA. Now I have the bulb, so I can just have it as a normal on-off switch and I'll show you that in a second with the bulb control. So let me get the bulb in there and I'll come back to you. All right, now the bulb's installed and the thing that I like about it the most is that I can just run it as a normal on-off bulb without any kind of special things at all. Actually, if you notice, it's in a different color. That's one thing right off the bat that's awesome. It saves your last setting even when you disconnect power. So now I can either change the color, change the brightness or stuff via the app, or I can, if I have my CASA, tied in through Google Home Services, I can just talk to it. Google, change the stairs to white. You got it, changing the stairs bulb to white. That looks very, very blue right now, but this is a cool white. Google, change the stairs to neon green. You got it, changing the stairs bulb to neon green. And you can go through the whole spectrum and you notice that I gave it a weird color. I can also give it weird things like Google change the stairs to sunset. Okay, changing the stairs bulb to sunset. Okay, go dim the stairs by 50%. You got it, dimming the stairs bulb by 50%. Set the stairs to warm white. Okay, changing the stairs bulb to warm white. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's flickering right now. That is one downside that I've started to notice with this bulb after having it for a month, is that when it's not at 100% brightness, it tends to flicker until it's fully warmed up. After a while, this goes away, but I either have a bad bulb or it's starting to have some problems uh, at a lower brightness setting. Okay, change the stairs to 100% brightness. You got it, setting the stairs bulb brightness to 100%. And now it's not pulsating anymore. Okay, so this light is really awesome. Now, let me show you the app because the app is pretty good too. And I didn't show you the app at all as part of the smart Wi-Fi plugs. This is a smart Wi-Fi bulb. It all works on that same TP-Link CASA protocol. All right, so I have now two different devices that are on the TP-Link CASA protocol. Whoops, this one's on the wrong side. So this is what I showed you before. These are the uh, TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug packs. Previously, I had these connecting to that stairs bulb, but the problem was with these, then I, I lost control with my normal on-off switch. With the bulb, I can retain my on-off switch. 
So I like the bulb better in certain situations and then I move these plugs to run my Christmas lights and my Christmas tree. Getting to the app. Okay, so we're gonna load up the TP-Link CASA app here. As you can see, it knows that the stairs bulb is on and the Christmas lights and stuff are not. If I wanted to turn on the Christmas lights, I can do it just like that. Christmas lights will now be on downstairs and off. So that's cool. You can have individual control via that way. Um, then down here is your scene settings. So if we go into scenes, you can have different scene modes as well. But if I go back and I click on the stairs bulb, now this is where I get some additional color settings where I can have my warm white to cool white. And this is with the new firmware. This has been changed where when I first got the bulb, the app was different, at least in the setting was different when you went into show colors. Before it used to be, before it used to be like this. It was the whole spectrum from whites to colors uh, and you would just pick randomly in this square. Kind of hard to get it to the exact color that you wanted. So now they've changed it where it's more of a, a spectrum. This is in the white range as well as then you can pick colors and it's your whole spectrum this way. So they made it a little bit better. For some reason Google knows the difference between green and neon green and dark green or if I say sunset it knows how to do it. None of that is in this app. It just has colors. You can uh, set your color properties. Oh there are recents now. It doesn't know the, what I did though. With recents you can call your five most recent colors and brightness choices. Alright so that seems new. I didn't know that that existed because I almost never use the app. I'm always using it via voice. But if you want to control it via the app, it just keeps getting better and better. So you have uh, brightness control here, white spectrum here, and more colors here. Then you can also schedule it. And there's a lot of other settings you can do. Something I did want to mention is how you actually get to the firmware. So it's kind of buried. You have to hit the hamburger button then you go to settings, firmware update, and now there's, oh, and I have a firmware update available for the bulb. So I've already gone through them once. Uh, now there's a new one as of 2018, this will be a new firmware. So let me hit update and I'll update the firmware. Update the firmware of my bulb. Let's just watch what happens while it's doing it, if anything. So it's updating the firmware of the light bulb right now. Maybe it'll fix that flickering problem. Complete. Firmware update complete. And uh, my bulb and my smart plugs are up to date. All right, cool. Oh, that's awesome that I was able to show you a firmware update in this video. Okay, so now I should be able to, let's do the dim. Gonna dim it down. Yeah, it looks like maybe the flickering has been fixed. It seems rock solid now. I'll change my brightness, or I'm gonna change my color temperature. Look at how fast it is too. Changing it around. Brightness. Yeah, that's awesome. So let me go, uh, warm white, full brightness. Now check this out, actually just because it's a color that is very different, I'll go to the bluest, coolest white, full brightness. Now watch how long it takes to pick up the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna turn the power off to this light. Okay, now it's completely disconnected from power. Lost its Wi-Fi, it's not on the internet. Now we'll turn it back on and we'll see how long does it take so right now it can't react because it doesn't know. About five there and now it's and now it's already back online. So between five and ten seconds from a completely being powered off to back on, it's back on my Wi-Fi network. How awesome is that? Guys, I really like this. Uh, they're not cheap, but if you find them on sale from now and then, it's uh, it's really neat. Oh, let me just do colors here. Just for fun. Oh look, it's all changed again. So from what I just showed you before, now we have color temps 
and color squares. Look at that. As far as I know, they don't have a party mode where it did this, but I that would be neat. Wow, that's awesome. See, these just keep getting better and better. That's great. Pick color, let's go back to a normal white. I like a warm white. That's great. Wow, excellent. And uh, I also have it connected through the Google Home. Dim the stairs by 50%. Okay, dimming the stairs bulb by 50%. And it's not flickering. So I think we, uh, we just saw the fix for the flickering. All right, so that's a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi bulb. This one is the RGB spectrum light. They also have one that is just does white, uh, then they have colors. Sorry, they have white spectrum, they have white spectrum energy monitoring, they have color spectrum, color spectrum energy monitoring. So yeah, I really like them because A, they're a lot cheaper than Philips Hue, and B, with Philips Hue you have to have a hub control box. With these you don't. Okay Google, turn off the stairs. You got it, turning off the stairs.